What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more of our Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. In the last episode, we managed to defeat King Gangrel in his and that fight was amazingly long and difficult and it was it was really testing because you, I didn't want to lose anybody and thankfully we got out of that. We didn't lose a single damn unit and I feel extremely hyped behind that. But, you know, the story goes on. So, let's see where we are now. And I didn't really do any side missions or any um things like you know killing monsters on the field I just turned the game off because I was so done after that crazy um, gangrel mission I just wanted to relax take a break think about life yeah it, it was more of a prize for me but now we're back in the game and you know Martha and his units they're ready I understand a bit more about the game now and I gotta tell you guys that I'm really liking Maribel I think I'm going to be replacing Lissa with Maribel because She's on a horse, and she has a lot more movement speed, and that can mean the difference between life and death. But oh my god, there's a fucking mosquito. Did I get that bitch? Come on, nigga. Nope. But yeah, there, you know, she's on a horse, and... Let me make sure my horse is... <laughs> Excuse my hair. Okay, she's on a horse, and that means that she can get around to places faster, which means life or death for certain units. Long coup. Long Ku, that's definitely my dude. I'm gonna be trying to use him a lot more often now. I really want to get more usage with him because just because I like his character, I'm not sure what his leveling up prowess will be like, but we'll see, I suppose. But yeah, I'm feeling good with these guys. Stal and Vike, or Vake, they're, they're kind of under underappreciated here. But Donald, he's doing good, level 12. Varian's level 10. Lissa is level 13. Sully is level 10. Robin's fucking 17, man. Like. God damn, dude. Now, Maribel is 5. Lanku is 6. Muriel is 13. Rickon. Now, Rickon, I really want to use this guy. I think his magic is going to be incredible if I level him up a little bit more. But every time he's leveled, because he's at level 6 right now, he didn't gain any magic. So I don't know what the hell's going on with this guy. Kellum's level 13. Fred Dick is, number, um, Fred Dick is level 10. And Krom is level 13. So, you know, Robin needs to sit out for a couple of games because this dude is gaining way too much experience. But all right, so let's see where we can go in the world. Um, I'm guessing here is where the DLC thing is because I went there and it was like, oh, connect to the online shop or whatever, so all right. But um, right now, right now, you know what? We're not gonna deal with any of this. Let's just go to, also, I also have some support conversations. Now here's what I was thinking. I was thinking, how about I save all the support conversations I have for episodes by themselves which aren't going to be included so these won't be included with like the episode 12 and 13 and whatnot instead rather these you know what maybe i'll just sprinkle them in rather you know maybe i'll just do that let's begin this chapter and see what's going on chapter six the foreseer hopefully we do just as well with this one as we did in the last one going against gangru okay <sighs> crumb what are you doing out so late? Oh, what's going on, Robin? Just dueling with some unpleasant thoughts. Listen. Tomorrow we march to Regna Ferox to request additional soldiers. But there's something you should know first. Not everything Gangrel said was a lie. The last exalt, my father, waged war in Plagia for many years. The violence. It was a brutal campaign ending with only his death 15 years ago. Plagia rightfully remembers their suffering, but his war was no kinder to his own people. As the fighting dragged on, our, our army became more and more diminished. Farmers who could barely wield a pitchfork were conscripted and sent to their deaths. Soon, there was no food at all, and the kingdom began to collapse. I was young, but I remember those dark times. I remember how they affected Emerin. Well, well such an experience would change anyone. Indeed, when our father died before her tenth year, he left quite the damn legacy. Plagia's desire for vengeance, our own people's unbridled rage. My sister became a target for blame from all sides. And you know, back in those old days, you know, people used to be blaming the children for what the parents did, like acting as if they were along with them when they did it, you know? Like, I feel like that mentality is really just archaic and, oh God. Her own subjects began to hurl insults and stones. She still bears the scar from one. But she never let them see her pain. Only Lisa and I, um, Lisa and I understood. It must have been really hard on you. <laughs> I cannot claim to know how she does it, Robin. I could never greet such hostility with warmth and patience. While our people mocked and vilified her, she reached out and healed them. She brought soldiers home to their families. She ended that war. And when Ulysses' spirit was mended, 
and the people forgave her, she never resented them for it. She represents the best of the halidom, the part worth, the part most worth protecting. She is peace. But some men would take advantage of that. Men like King Gan Ganondorf. <laughs> the day he understands peace will be the day death gives it to him. Oh shit! Damn, Kron. <laughs> The only day he will understand peace is the day death gives it to him. I'm gonna say that the next time I get jumped in the hood. <laughs> that's some deep shit. I'm sorry, I kind of broke the mood there, but that's a deep ass line. Reminds me of Assassin's Creed 1, man. All tight. Oh man, that, that's a deep ass line. I'm gonna remember that for the rest of my life. The only day that he will realize peace is the day death gives it to him. Shit. So perhaps. I must be death's agent. Crom! Oh, 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 Crom! Let's go! Crom! Woo! You should have been in Smash Brothers, dude. You should have been in Smash Brothers. Every Holy shit. <laughs> this conversation is spicy. My mouth is hot right now. Emerin would never order him killed, nor would I wish her to. Oh my god. Right. Well spoken, sir. Okay, here we go. Here's the scene. Marth. Right, so she comes out of nowhere. She, how long was she eavesdropping for? Probably the whole conversation. Good evening to you. How the fuck did you get in here? <sighs> that cleft in the castle wall behind the maple grove. <sighs> there, but how would you... Never mind. You know what? Crom? You know the place, Crom? Yes. Yeah, I bashed in part of the wall while training with the shepherds. It's only a small hole, and I thought it was well concealed, but... Right. Your secret is safe with me. I come here only to warn you. Okay then. Um, hmm? Warn us. I um, hope you guys can see me well, by the way. That's why I keep looking at the viewfinder, because I'm hoping that I give the footage enough space. Warn us. Right. The Exalt's life is in danger. No. What, Erin? That's absurd. She's guarded at all hours. <sighs> what if... What if I told you that I've seen the future? Would you believe me? A future where Emerin is killed. Here, tonight? Holy shit. Seen the future? Have you lost your shit? My apologies. Yeah, I expected you wouldn't believe me. All you niggas are the same, so let me prove it to you. Oh god. Why does everyone feel the need to prove their arguments in this game by pulling their steel out? I'm about to save your life. From him. Who? Who the hell is that? Damn, Krom was about to die? I trust this proof will suffice. Krom was about to get killed. Yeah. He was about to get assassinated by that person. There's another one. Oh, we see pretty little Lucina come out. Damn. That was an assassination attempt. Who was gonna kill him? Wait, you're... you're a woman? And quite the actress, too. Honestly, I'm surprised you didn't figure it out until just now. So Lucina, well Marth, is revealed to be a woman kind of early. I didn't think it would happen that early, but um, something's going down tonight. Because Lucina comes through telling us, yo, you need to protect your sister because, you know, the, the queen of the kingdom is about to get fucking done in by a couple of niggas. And Krom, you need to get your sexual ass down there. So, you know, let's see, let's see. We got our sexy asses down here now. Let's see what the fuck's going on in this bitch. Let's view this map. Let's see what's what we're dealing with right now. All right, we got a lot of. Oh my God! Look at all these niggas. Validar, Validar. That's that fucker that we fought in the beginning of the game, who took over Robin and made him kill Crom. That, that fucking crazy. Anyways, we got a lot of fucking units here. Let's see. Is there any way that we can bottleneck these guys? They're probably gonna keep trying to assault us, so maybe we can bottleneck them. All right. So right now, as you guys can see here, we got um. We got this place. They can't come in through that way, though. Can they? I hope not. We got this chest here. And we have this floor here. One thing that we could potentially do is um, just plug up this entrance way and make it so that niggas can't come in. That would be great. You know, kind of like pulling off a 300 type thing. You know? Spartans! <laughs> Hold! And we could do some shit like that. All we gotta do is put my nigga Freddy D in the entranceway and they won't be able to come past. 
Yeah, Freddie D and my nigga Kellum, we'll be, we should be fine. But then we got niggas coming from these three stairwells here, so that's going to be an issue. We're going to have to make sure that we don't get overrun here. What kind of units are you working with here? We got these guys with iron axes, iron axe, iron sword, thunder, level six. They all seem like they're around level six. Um, they mostly seem like they have normal weapons. No one really has any far range other than the, ma um, the mages and the dark. Wait, Gaius? Who's you? Gaius? <laughs> Alright, I think I know what's going on here, guys. You guys must be, um... You guys were telling me in the comments before that there are sometimes people that you can find who are actually going to be allies if you talk to them with Krom. So you know what? We're going to try to manage that here. Um, but we're going to have to change our, our units first. So you know what? We're going to have to move my nigga Freddy D down here with Muriel. We're going to have to, um, let's see what the danger zone is right now. Oh man, this is not looking good. We're going to have to have units pair up a lot. A lot of pairing up is going to have to be done here. Um, man, we can get jumped from this direction. View the map. Let's turn this off. Let's see, where can these guys come from? They'll be able to come there. Shit, nigga. Um, okay, so that's fine. We can deal. These guys will be able to come there. We'll be able to handle this person here, no problem. All we gotta do is ensure that we pair up our units correctly. So you know what, maybe we should go in there with, um... Sully first, and just clean the place out. Clean it out. So that way... Oh man, but then what about these guys being left behind, you know? That's, this is kind of a scary situation to deal with, man. We're probably gonna have to go in there with my dude Kellum and try to clear it out, but... If I put Kellum in this area right here, and they all swarm in, we might just get overrun. We won't be able to leave that corner unless we send my nigga Freddy D back over. But we need Freddy D to get Chrome over to that guy as fast as possible so he can join our ranks. This is crazy, but you know what? I feel like that's a good plan. We'll have Sully go out, scout. I mean, um, Lucina will be able to kill this guy. Yeah, we just gotta hope. I think I should pair up units though. I should definitely pair up units here. Yeah, we're gonna pair up some units. We're ready, man, we're ready. Let me just save the game. Please, no one die, please. Let's start this battle up. Yeah, this dude, Validar, who is this guy? Remember, I want the emblem in my hand and Emeryn dead on the floor. Let nothing distract you from either purpose. Yes, sir. As you will it. Shit. Whoa, whoa, did I just hear that right? We're going to kill the Exalt? I'm just here for the plunder, you know, line my pockets with some royal goods. The Exalt is such a sweet lady, dude. I mean, sure, I'll rob her blind, but I wouldn't put my blades on her neck. Sister! Krom, take Lissa and flee while you still have time. Think again. No fucking way, we're not leaving you here with a bunch of niggas ready to run a train on your ass. Let's go. Let's go, Robin. The assassins should scatter if we can defeat their leader. That dude all the way down there? Two assassins and their little princeling was not even wounded? Wait, some of these actors do not belong here on this stage. What? Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Can it be? Wait a minute, so Validar knows Robin? After years of searching, tonight, Fate truly piles the gifts at my feet. Who is Validar to Robin? The Falcon is gleaming. What the fuck is going on in this bitch? It's not your concern. It seems like nothing ever is with you. I'm so sorry. My apologies. No. Just stay by Emran's door. We'll handle the killers. 